welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Last time we saved Uncle from uh, being slow roasted, and then we had that short cutscene that I had to added at the end because apparently that classed as a mission, but also didn't class as a mission. Uh, this time we're doing uh, a really big bastard, I think it was called, with Abigail. So let's go and chat to the wife. Hello, waifu, where you at? How are you liking the place? So you happy? I think so. And I did good? You did good. So... <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. Ah, <you laughs> a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! <laughs> You're alive! John, it's... Sadie Ann. <laughs> well, how'd you know she was... We... I'm... Sorry, you I thought I... You look well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but tell me about you, darling. No, armed to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, uh, he ain't looking for that kind of work. Took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I going to do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's going to do something better than this. Like what? Write silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money... How many times do I gotta bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work that I can handle. There's a... There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah? I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family, bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. What is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business. You know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. Or the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just, you bring him back to me. Don't listen to her, John. We're gonna go and kill Micah. That son of a bitch needs to die. Say your goodbyes, John. Get your horse and let's go. You ready? Yep. Follow let's me. go. We're going up into tall trees. A lot of these bounty hunters, uh, bounties seem to be up in tall trees. It's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Finally. Abigail's back with the boy. You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was it was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail, or it, asking her at least. Oh my. I never took you for a romantic. <laughs> no, me neither. But <laughs> it's something I've thought about. And I I think I know I want it. Okay. I guess I thought you were married already. Long ago. Technically uh, they were. Not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married? It made me real happy. 
until he got killed. Oh, we can't ask her anything. That sucks. We're cutting off the main track up here by Manzanita Post. Oh, that's how you pronounce it, Manzanita. So we're coming up on where he's been seen. This moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman, amping out here. He's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. Well, they might have. Let's hope not. We get more if they're alive. Oh. Rachel, you dumbass. Sort your shit out. It. Get down. Let's take a look around. Something's been here. This. This looks. Looks like a bear. Something came through here. I'll take the rum. <laughs> fella left in quite a hurry. Here. Oh, he was from the south, whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If he ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks blood. like they went this way. Him or the bear? <laughs> Both of them. Come on, Rachel. You'll be a good host one day. It's You'll never. That way, I'd say. Yeah, you'll never stand up Great. to the standard that I have because of Shadow, but... You can try your best. Knows how John had learned how to do this because Charles definitely didn't teach him. It keeps going through here. Yeah, this way. There's a Charles taught here. Arthur, although actually he might have taught John. Um, this guy's dead. He's mangled. Lift of one. Is it gone? You, Marshal Thorwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out. Come on. Don't shoot. Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. What the fuck? Oh, uh, get off me, you fuck! Fucking hell. Thurwell! I thought we were gonna die. Before I come in there, kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. How did he not die it from is. six headshots? Come here. Come here. No oh, one hell of a beast of a bear. <laughs> well, you're unconscious. Thurwell. Call yourself a man. Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. Might need to see a doctor after that, John. Jesus Christ! I can't believe we didn't kill that bastard. Gave him something to remember us by, at least. Let me guess. I'm going to have failed the mission because I was supposed to kill the bear. 
Well, not fairly, but not get the gold <laughs> buckle. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. Family man and all. Seeing all this, uh, I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch, and your kid, and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. Yeah, fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I spend my cash on fancy... Who's this up here? Is that... Are you Sadie Adler, ma'am? The bounty hunter? Get Don't think so, boys. <laughs> Casual. This is a cold business, ain't it? Yep. It does require a certain level of detachment. You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall. And I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. Now, it's one way the police got into uh, giving out money to get these assholes off the street. Tell me what you know? They you don't sure seem to do that anymore. Ain't all that back at your ranch enough? If I find him, I will handle it. Your bounties or transport work, that's your decision to bring me along or not. But, but Micah, that's something we, well, I, I gotta do with or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things. Still, mostly just whispers, but I think you might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to me. Okay, I'll bring it to you. But you think about if this is what you really want. Everything you can get, and everything you could lose. I understand all of that. Of course I do. Okay, then. Here, put him down. Go on. Get home to your wife. Let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? No, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you. <clears throat> Fifty-five dollars paid off. Well, did we fuck up? Uh, shoot the bear four times as it charges. Headshot both the rival bounty hunters in Dead Eye. Okay, the only thing we didn't do was seventeen minutes, uh, seven minutes and fifteen seconds. Right, before we end this episode, let's go to the fucking... See if we can find it. Is there a hairdresser's here? Yes, there is. Let's go to the fucking barbers. Get our fucking hair and our beard sorted out. The wife... Well, the wife-to-be is back. Although, they've been together and they've had a kid, so in my books, they're actually husband and wife anyway, so it don't really matter. Hi there, come on in. Even if it's not like official on paper. Um, I forget about that. Let me just get it cut. Uh, there you go. That's better. Actually, do you know what the fuck will do that? Come on. 
Whoa, what's this? Sideburn styles? <laughs> oh, facial hair. Extra clean shaven. There we go. Cheers, buddy. Right. Let's get our hat. He's looking younger already. Right, next time we are going to be doing Jack's mission. Trying again. So, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you feel like it, or not if you don't, as per usual, and I will see you all in the next episode.